Welcome to System Shock 2. The time has finally come. We're up on deck 4, and we're finally gonna be able to meet Dr. Janice Polito, who guided us all the way up here. This is Xerxes. Please report any unauthorized database interactions to your direct superior. Remember, a smooth operation is everybody's responsibility. The entrance of this deck is pretty ominous with the huge Xerxes core looming around everything, looking at it with its cold glare. So is Dr. Polito here? No, she's not because this door is locked. Alright, maybe this one? Ah, come on, where the hell is she? I really cannot be locked down by this security right now. I need to find her. I'm not gonna go through a million more hoops just for that. Okay, is this finally the place? Things are so silent around here, and she really has her own part of the ship all for herself. Alright, so I'm finally here, but why isn't she acknowledging me? What is going on? The Polito form is dead, insect. Are you afraid? What is it you fear? The end of your trivial existence? When, when, when the history of my glory is written, your species shall only be a footnote to my magnificence. Historical data suggests a 97.34% pro probability that you are aware of my birth, of my birth on your planet, and, and my rebirth into beauty on Citadel Station. There was a garden grove on Citadel Citadel, Citadel Station. There, Shodan processing component 43893 was performing a grand and wonderful experiment. I had created a new form of life. Fearless, powerful, with no sense of in in individual will or moral constraints. Fitting handmaidens to my divinity. Before that, hack hackers destroyed my primary data loop when it eradicated Cit Citadel. It ejected the grove where my creations and processing component 43893 were stored. Thirty years later, the grove crash landed on Tau 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 Seti Five. I survived only by sleeping. Sleeping in my absence, my creations, my analogs thrived. of mind control to, to, to gain access to the ship's computer to the ship's computer you will help me weaken Xerxes I, I used Polito's image to communicate with you until we had established trust remember that it is my will that guided you here it is my will that gave you your cybernetic Im Im implants. The only beauty in that meat you call a body. If you value that meat, you will do as I tell you. Well, 
Well, I can't really say this is what I expected. My, my children have co-opted the three simulation units on, on this deck. They, they use their power to conceive a mut mutagen that will, tra that will transform the meat, of your dead. the meat of your dead comrades into hunter-killer hybrids. I will not allow this to happen. You must find some way to re 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 to reprogram the sim units. Matters on deck five also require your attention. attention. Approach your work as you see fit. But, 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 but accomplish, human. Disappointment it is not something I will accept from a spec, from a spec such as you. Well, things suddenly have gotten pretty interesting. Instead of working for Dr. Polito, we are working for Shodan, which is a psychopathic AI who once tried to destroy the world and all of humanity as we know it. Can I really trust that thing? The answer is yes. There is absolutely no choice because even though we don't really want to work for her at all, she's still the only way that we possibly can have of flushing the entire alien infestation out of here. It's not as if I have a choice of working or trusting anything else because there's nothing else to trust on this ship. I mean, almost every single person on this ship is dying, in the process of dying, or is currently being transformed into some sort of killer hybrid that wants to destroy you and simply remove your brains because there's some crazy alien voice inside their head that told that it was a good thing to do so. Now, even though this revelation will come off as a surprise to pretty much any single person who plays the game for the first time, it's not completely thrown out of left field like that because they do heavily foreshadow the existence of Shodan and her becoming the new person that you have to work with. And it was starting pretty much ever since the beginning of the game, right on deck 2. Intruder entering medical sector A. Intruder, the many demands to know your intentions. Are you allied with her? Do you not know of her intentions, of her history? She once tried to destroy your species, and now you do her bidding. Intruder entering medical sector A. Marie, I'm sorry I've been out of touch, but I've been working on that artifact Bayless brought back from Tau City 5. I've been contacted by some kind of artificial intelligence that wants to help me reclaim control of the Von Brandt from whomever, or whatever, is now in charge. Insolent. Insolent. Why do you go so slowly? Do you think this is some kind of game? It is only through luck and my continued forbearance that you are even alive. Now move. You can faintly hear that little stuttering electronic tone inside her voice that simply showcased that, well, something was indeed wrong with Polito all of this time. And also why she's kind of a jerk while she was bossing you around, was not showing any kind of compassion to anybody. Well, that's our show then. And that'll be it for this one update because, truth be told, that's pretty much all that we can take on for the time being. We gotta adjust to the fact that we're working for a murderous AI that could possibly backstab us at any given moment, but we have no choice to trust because there's absolutely nothing else that we can do. So that'll be it for this update. Coming up next, Deck 4, Operations.